Okay, so let's keep uh, building this uh, simulation of, uh, well, um, examining how often we can play a first card, uh, a card in the first round in Magic the Gathering. Uh, setting up the deck, uh, it's done. And I did a mistake in the last video. I said that that pop um, function takes the first element of an array. It takes the last element. It should be shift here. Uh, its effect is, is very similar, especially as we just shuffle the deck. But if we were to add something to the uh, to the bottom of the deck or the top of the deck, this will be a really big difference. So let's use the proper uh, function here. Deck shift takes the uh, topmost card. Um, all right, so we have a hand of seven cards. Now we want to see, can we play uh, something uh, in this uh with this hand, uh, play out a land and then a card. So let's try this. Check if we can play both a land and a card. All right, so what do we do then? We uh, go through the hand and see if we have any hand, uh, any land, land hand. Um, okay, so for. Uh, let's see, of hand. So this is a loop that goes through all the cards in the hand. And I use the, the word of instead of in, which means that C here will, uh, will be uh, the card object, not the index number of, of, of the, card, the card we're looking at which makes it a bit easier to code. But I just realized if we want to play this card, we should probably use the index instead. So let's do that. Then I'm going to use a more standard I in hand. Uh, okay, so let's check if hand I, which is the card, uh, dot, and then the land, no, the type, I guess that's declared here somewhere. Uh, type, yeah, card dot type should be land, I guess. Here, going down a bit, yeah, land, basic land. This is perhaps better. We're not using this. Oh, crap. We should be using this column. Let's add this. Why it's, it's, yeah, okay. So I have two different columns here and this one seems more useful for me right now. So just let, let's just add it here. In the code file, I'm going to add uh, type uh, two, why not, is column 12. So if that equals land, uh, then we have a match. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's add a variable here and checking which colors we are adding colors uh, to it. Um, let production equal. And what's the production we have? This is a time where I would like to just have a look at the data we have. The hand card here has production white, blue, black, red, green. So let's use the same here. There, and I'm adding a superfluous comma here. OK, so we have nothing. But if we have a land, let's we don't e actually need land here, but let's use land anyway. Um, <clears throat> then we're going to loop through all the production that we have in this land. For uh, let j in land dot pro, uh, 
in hand i dot production production dot no j because this j will be white blue black red green so in production variable i'm gonna take this uh, uh, corresponding property and increase it uh, plus equals and i production j all right so this was complex enough to just try it and see that it works we have this variable now called production says that we have nothing and this would be the case if we have no land which seems pretty unlikely no land here's a land type 2 is land with a capital L okay let's use that land production all right so this should now be just one island in my hand if i'm if this works correctly this is not a land this is no land this is a land which is an island was that number three no okay and this is no land number four is no land number five is no land and number six is no land. Okay, so this appears to be working. Let's try it again and hope for a higher production, total production. Yeah, okay. So we can also see that we can reach levels uh, beyond one. It's not a coding error. Good. Um, and now we know what we can play for the first round, which colors we can go for. Let, let's uh, see if... Uh, we have any one cost card matching this. So let's go through the hand again for let I in hand. If hand I, and now it's not the type, it's the cost. Uh, and we had something called total, right? Total cost, perhaps? Uh, equals one, then do something. Let's see if I got this right. Uh, is that the correct names? And cost. No, we don't have the total cost. Yes, we do have the total cost. Okay, so that's not part of the cost object. If the hand, if the card's total cost equals one, then we're going to check if this white, well, if the colors needed um, correspond to the things we have in the um, in our total listed production. Hmm. So how do we do this? We could, we must check against the any. If that's one, we're fine. If it's not uh, uh, one on the any, uh, then we must check if uh, these, uh, well, more specific colors match our production. If uh, hand I cost any equals one or something else. I'm going to actually break this out into a separate function. I'm going to call it, well, cost fits in production, fits in production. And we have the cost and we have the production so I'm going to pass in the cost here which is hand i dot cost comma 
and the production. If all this works, we're fine. Let's go back and continue on this. Uh, continue this later. On. Oh, it's already ten minutes past. Uh, let's uh, have a break here then, and we'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.